Wow, wow, wow. Hold up whilst I get myself ready for the comments section after posting this video because uh, this one's gonna be a little bit of a touchy subject. Go by Froelich and a big collision in the corner. Early access for 1Password 8 for Mac has been launched to a very loud audience of those furious about the somewhat controversial changes to the way 1Password is built. So let's dig into this a little and answer those questions of what is really going on. And to those of you regular like muggle type people watching this, does it actually affect you at all? Muggle. Firstly, and if you are new here, then hi, my name is Pete. And on this channel, we help busy entrepreneurs find the best tech, be productive and stay safe online. And since I have already posted numerous reviews on this channel around password managers, comparisons and reviews, it's no surprise that I feel I should comment on what is currently happening around the latest 1Password announcements. So first up, what's the beef? And the beef comes primarily from one issue. One word, in fact, Electron. Electron is basically a framework which enables developers to code something once and have it run across multiple operating systems. Now, obviously this has a massive benefit to the developers because, well, they have one set of code to look after rather than having separate specific apps for Mac, iOS, Android, Linux, Linux, Windows, Linux. Now the drawback though, is that the Electron apps can consume more memory than a native app and thus then tend to be slower. But in fact, popular apps such as Slack, Notion, Microsoft Teams, Discord, Twitch, Skype, WhatsApp, and actually another password manager, Bitwarden, all use Electron for their desktop apps. Now I spend most of my life in Microsoft Teams and it is slow as heck to open it up. I also spend most of my life in Slack and that's actually pretty damn fast. Same with Discord, same with Bitwarden, same with Notion. Once the app is loaded, I don't perceive any noticeable slowdowns or memory hogging. So firstly, let me answer the question that everybody seems to be using as their like first argument against agile bits, the cross the one password, that Electron is resource intensive and consumes far too much memory. Here I have one password seven running natively on my M1 MacBook Air. It's consuming around about 104 megabytes of memory, and that's whilst I have around 12 tabs of Google Chrome running altogether. Now, over in the future 1Password 8 Electron Beta 8.2.0-44 Beta, we are currently running more than double of that, of around 262 meg, and that is on my M1 Mac Mini, and around like 30 something tabs open because I have a lot of tabs open on my Mac Mini. So to answer your question of does it consume more memory? Well, yeah, yes it does. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. But you wanna know something really, really scary? Slack, an Electron app, is using around 326 meg of memory, but Microsoft Teams, 1,288 megabytes of memory. What the heck, Microsoft? That's almost as bad as like Google Chrome itself. So with that question answered, let's ask the other question that nobody I see is really asking, why are they chosen to go with Electron instead of building native apps for each operating system? And to me, it's well fairly obvious because recently AgileBits, the company behind 1Password, completed its Series B round of funding that saw investors such as Punked Fame, Ashton Kutcher, here comes the show. But also investments from leaders from the likes of Shopify, Slack, Squarespace, Eventbrite, and so, so many more. And between them, they have raised more than $100 million. It's so not more than $100 million exactly, which now gives a company valuation of $2 billion. Now this is in addition to their last round of funding, which brought in 200 million in 2019. And so with all of this money just being like thrown at them and pumped into one password, the decision to go with Electron actually actually starts to make sense to me. Yes, it would be nice to have native versions across, you know, every single device type, of course, and I don't think anybody is disputing that, but with significant investments, it would seem as though 1Password is preparing to do something like really special, poising themselves for significant increases in development on maybe new features and new integrations that will would be otherwise impossible, like significantly costly and with huge margins for error if they were to try that with so many different versions of the app with separate development teams working on separate apps and all whilst trying to coordinate to get the new features rolled into every version at the same time without introducing bugs. I can see how quickly that could become a nightmare. So, well, in fact, I see one password move to Electron to kind of be a positive thing, providing they pay absolute care and attention to making that one app to rule them all the best fucking app they've ever made. Because whilst it seems to be counterintuitive to do what they're doing now, I think, well, over the next 12 months, we're gonna see some big, big new features and announcements from 1Password, which are only gonna be possible because of this decision that they made. But after all is said and done, there is only really one thing that matters. And that is the question of, well, does it matter? 
does it matter that the app uses more memory? And that's even if the app does ever use more memory because, well, this is the beta. You know, they've got plenty of time to reduce memory usage in the future if they can. And the answer for the majority of you know, my audience that are watching this video, probably not. And that is because of two things. Firstly, modern operating systems at their core are designed to handle managing memory. This makes it difficult for even, you know, even a misbehaving application to grind your machine to a halt when it becomes unresponsive. And in my experience of using the beta across well, multiple machines now and running my Mac mini in particular, which runs like 20 applications at any one time, I have not experienced a single crash or even a single slowdown in this new beta 8 software. And that's a beta software. Secondly, you have development. And development is easily what makes any app good or not good. And whether they're using Electron or not using Electron and using some other software. It is down to the one password development teams themselves to make a success of this. And particularly, well, given the reception they've just had to the Mac version 8, they will be razor sharp focused on making their new app a success, which works smoothly and consumes as little memory as possible. So any time will tell, but for now, go down to the link below and grab up to 50% off of one password because, well, I did test all of the other password managers and legitimately, one password seems to be the best of what's out there. Well, currently are, unless they make a hash of like one password eight and then I'll need to remake my whole password comparison video. Oh, look, you can go and watch that up here or not. Maybe go watch this one instead. Whatever. See ya.